Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com and we're coming with another video on SEO. First of all, if you're brand new to this channel, make sure to press the subscribe button down below so when I release a new SEO video like this, you'll get notified. For today's video, it's a little bit different from my other videos. As I mentioned in my previous video, the last week video, that I'm going to be uh, creating a new type of videos that is an SEO auditing uh, type of videos where I'll be taking uh, one of your websites, right? Uh, however you leave it uh, or tell me, whether it's, you know, leave it in the comment section or you message me or whatever. Uh, I'm going to do an SEO audit for your website, uh, pointing out the, the problems that could be hindering your rankings as well as giving you some suggestions, right? So uh, after the, the publishing of the previous videos, uh, like one of my subscribers actually sent me uh, his website where he wanted me to do an SEO audit for him and uh, for today's video I'm going to do an SEO audit for his website go through the problems right there are obviously many problems out there which I'm going to highlight out in this video as well as giving him some suggestions right so if any of you any one of you are interested in you know like getting your site auditing by me make sure that you leave your site uh, you know in the comment section down below or if you don't want your site to be public you just simply message me on Facebook right, or Instagram or wherever you know you want me to connect with me and I'll take your website and I'll do an audit here on YouTube channel right so without further ado let's jump let's jump right to my comment screen and I'll you know do the audit here along with you right so we're recording right okay so uh, this is his website right so as you can see uh, I'm recording here right now and uh, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna take, but I I doubt it, it should you know really cross 15 minutes. It shouldn't be more than that. So let's see. So this is the homepage of of the website, right? And you know I actually went through the website a little bit uh, today, right? And I, I I found out that you know it looks like the website is still under construction or you know it's not ready yet somehow because you know like the homepage the information seems to be com uh, uncompleted as you can see, right? and you know the, the the footer section and you know all the categories probably you know the the subscribers maybe he want to add more something like that and I also went through you know different different pages on his website and it seems like you know the website still is under constructions right so uh for this auditing process i'm going to break it down to three uh parts that is the technical seo right and uh, on page seo and off page seo so normally i would not uh, start off with on page seo right because that is you know the most like i mean it's the more is uh, this the most obvious one right because it is the website it's the content right it's what, everything what you see but for this particular website i would like to start off with the technical seo first because the first thing which i really notice is the page speed right the page speed seems to be very very slow and you know let me just uh, show you the page speed for this website so if I go ahead and you know take this website URL and go to this gtmetrics.com, which is the website which allows you to test the page speed. You can also use your know, Google Page Speed tools, right? But I prefer uh, gtmetrics because it has more um, more uh, options, right, for me. Especially if I you know just sign up here, it's a free account, right? You can just simply sign up and log in. You get much more you know insights into your uh, web uh, website speed, right, with the with the tool here. So um, let me show you the, the website speed here, right? Even, you know, like uh, when you try accessing the website, it seems to be very, very slow, which I, I think it's, it's due to the hosting, right? It may be the hosting issues or maybe, you know, the hosting is not up to the point because, you know, if you look at the website, it doesn't have like, you know, it, it has nothing really here, right? Just a bunch of images and even no text here. So uh, I think it's the problem with the hosting for sure, right? As you can see, it's still taking the time to fetch the website, right? So it probably is very, very slow according to the tool here. So this is the first uh, problem which, you know, I really recommend uh, the users, right? The webmaster to take care of. And the first suggestion is to improve page speed, right? And from my observation, it has to be, you know, change the hosting, right? Is definitely the problem with the hosting here of course there are things like you know with the wordpress like you know all the caching plugins all the cdms all those stuff but i, th I think it's the problem with the hosting for sure okay and uh another thing which i would really wanted to point out is you know uh, there seems to be a, a subdomain right uh, connected to this website so if i go to uh, google and then i do the site colon and then I, I enter the website uh, domain here, right? 
by the way you know if you don't know what is this operator is the way you know to see whether your site is indexed or not like like to see the different indexing pages on your website so as you can see right like uh, like there's a website here right there's a website and uh, different different pages then there seems to be this home dot uh, the website the domain name dot com right which uh, looks like the subdomain for the website. So if I go and open this um, It seems like you know, maybe like a testing website here right? maybe the users, you know Just wanted to test out the website something like that or maybe he wants to create it for another purpose So I would suggest you know that if you just want to make it as an affiliate website Right, which seems like this particular website is it, it is an affiliate website You don't really need you know the subdomain right unless you know there's like uh, it is very necessary right and besides that uh, the website doesn't seem to have uh, pages here as you can see like just a couple of pages you know being created for the website so even though you know it seems that the website you know looks like the new website but then you know what after i analyze it with the tool you know the who is uh, lookup tool which the which is essentially the tool that allows you to uh, check the domain name right domain name registration data so i can see that the, this domain was created you know in 2019 right 15 of december 2019 so it's it's up almost like almost three months now right almost three months now for this domain or uh, you know so i would really suggest you know the the webmaster right the owner of this website to really start working out right because as i can clearly see you know there's not much of the content here right even if you go to different different sections you see that you know there there are like just a bunch of blog articles right like not many blog articles are there so i would really recommend you know the owner to um write more content now right? because it's already almost passing three months period and it's now a good time for your website to really start ranking right and make sure you start working out on the the content side i'll come back to the on page side again right to go into detail uh first let us look at the page metrics right as you can see um it took longer than two minutes right to finish loading the websites <laughs> even the tool gives it an error here so definitely you know there's a problem with the hosting right which the owners needs to really you know take care of even the tool you know gives an error here and yeah it is like almost two minutes right for me to you know complete the load but it, anyway it depends on you know on where you actually load the website like you know gt metrics is located in canada so you know maybe uh, maybe this person is in let's say asia then it will take more time but two minutes is obviously you know not not acceptable right so for sure it has to fix with the pay speed and um and of all school right the the subdomain here that the owner needs to really get rid of right because it causes some you know um, extra indexations which you know if you if you have your subdomains right if you have any on other pages on your website but you don't seem to be working with it or you don't really care about it just get it rid of it right because if you keep on indexing more and more number of you know like low quality pages right whether it's subdomains or any page on your website this will degrade your website overall quality right so the second suggestion would be you know to remove any extra pages right or you know domain in this case it would be subdomain right subdomain content from uh the index right so just completely delete them right remove it completely because you know if you have too many low quality pages or stuff on your website it degrades your overall website quality right because seo is not all about just one page on your website it's all about your entire website right so when google looks at your website it will look at your overall quality of the website so that's the thing here okay let's really dive right into the on page right so basically technical seo you know nothing much here just mainly pay speed right SS, ssl certificate is there so that's great not a big deal right and uh yeah let's jump right to the on page seo so on page seo there's a lot uh and actually not not too much but i would like to really stress out you know the the thing here right the home page here you see the home page should be the most important page on your website right regardless of you know whether it's your blog that will that will drive the traffic right it will make you money of course from the blog section but home page should be the most important page because when google looks at your home page it will assess the quality of your website right it will have to see like 
what your website is all about right what is the is this website is trustable or not you know if is this website has enough credential or not something like that so home page should be like the the most important page on your website right so if you look at the home page here you know speaking from seo point of view it doesn't look like quite a trustable source right like okay you've got a bunch of good designs here but you know there's really no clear message you know as to what is this website all about right and a bunch of these images here really doesn't add anything up any add the value to it either so i would recommend you to you know redesign the home page to either make it like a normal you know block website right where you would just see it on the website so as you can see like this is an example which I, I was able to find on the internet is the affiliate website right so the home page is just a bunch of blog articles right you can see like latest blog articles something like that or a better way is to you know follow something like this right where you've got like you know um like uh like this this guy you know he ha what he has done is this is his main article right like it's a guide article so he really promoted here right so he, you can easily click on this then beside he also divide to the latest guides and articles right where he put a bunch of articles here he also put like an about a small about us section right here as well so when google looks at this website it looks much more you know credible right? like much more much more trustable as you can see like so it, it can cl clearly knows that what is this website all about right and then you can also find a bunch of you know useful articles here like everything is organized in a very you know sequential and logical manner and then besides you know the, the photo area is also very neat and clean right as you can see like you, you also should you know take care of your footer here as well right make it like look a bit more pretty something like that with the design and then you know like if you go to the about us page right the about us page should be something like this as you can see like it should look you know real and legit right as you can see um is about the author right it's about the the person who writes a blog this look makes it much more like human right so when people wants to buy from your website it's not just about reading your articles right it has people has to have to know about you as well right so speaking from seo point of view is it's not that good and speaking from users point of view definitely you have to improve it right so if you go to the about us section here uh, you will see that you know the person does doesn't have you know anything about him right there's a bunch of three lines here so definitely you know it has to improve on the credible side right like the trustable uh, the, the trust issues here so the third suggestion here would be you know to improve uh, the home page and you know important pages important pages would be like you know about us uh, affiliate this closure right uh, something like that like all the basic pages right uh not the block section okay let's move on to the the main like the the juice right the juice of this uh website that is the block right so um the block will be the page the, the section where you know he will you know definitely drive traffic to and uh, at the end of the day you know we'll make money from it right okay so coming to the blog section i can see that you know this website is about the uh, accessory like like kitchen accessories and probably like a house household goods right something like that so um but you know there's uh, something like going on here like if you go to the blog section you'll see that there are a bunch of unrelated articles right like for example this one what accessory come with iphone 11 right or even this one 90 plus cool things under 50 dollars on amazon you know um you can definitely add these type of articles onto your website but to be honest like if your article if your website is about accessories right whether it's kitchens or anything related you should always stick to the theme right like stick to the what this web your website is all about so i talk about this all up a lot in my channel is called as topical relevance is what your entire website is all about right so when google looks at your website it should understand from your content as to what your website is all about and if you keep on mixing like different type of uh, content here right let's say iphone reviews with mixed with the kitchen accessories something like that so definitely you know this is not gonna look good right you can add to it like a bunch one or two but again you know looking at it from user point of view you know it, it wouldn't make much of a you know sense here to have this type of content here right 
so I would suggest you know to really remove it and solely focus on um, the the type of content that you know that your website is all about right and here also you know like by admin right you should also have like a proper author box like like a proper authors of the website uh, because you know you heard a lot about EAT right expertise authoritativeness and trustworthiness so definitely you know if your website has to be about affiliate marketing you have to have a proper credential right so just like this website right where he has his uh, his author here right so if you look at let's say uh, any of, of his web uh, articles you will see that uh, each articles are dedicated you know to the to the individual right so like there's an author called max mac here and uh i mean you should have like a proper author here right like who actually writes the content something like that uh admin would be a good idea here right so google doesn't know who is admin so definitely you know you have to add more credible so this again we'll have to deal with you know this one improve the home page right important pages basically you know this is all about the trust of your website right you can say like that so and the fourth thing which i just uh, mentioned is to only focus on you know a uh, focus on what uh, focus on writing content uh, about your website right so shouldn't be anything extra anything extra more than that right as i mentioned there is like you know um topical authority right topical relevancy concept there i'll leave the link in the description so you can you know watch some of my previous videos but i mentioned it a lot throughout my channel definitely you can watch those um let's say if, if let me have a look at you know one of the articles here right to see like see the quality of the articles so starting off right you've got like a table of content that's great right that helps you know readability right so user can easily jump right from place to place and uh like if you look at the website if you look at the content it's pretty neat right pretty okay not too bad right there's a check price here but then you know uh let me look at this uh if whether this is this is a link to amazon right amazon web uh um, amazon website okay so the link here is no is do follow right so this is the thing here uh, Google clearly mentions that you know if you're running an affiliate website, right? You should always link to it using the no follow tag, because you know it is considered as a low quality, like it is not con considered as like irrelevant link, right? So you should definitely link out to Amazon link using the no follow attribute. This is important, like, and also you know add more internal link to your page, right? And also external links as well. Link out to you know to relevant websites, right? Like make sure that you know the article looks much more um quality than this right i'm not saying that this is a bad article but you can definitely improve upon it let's say you know if i check out this article right i can give you an example here you can see you know how well the the content is being structured right? as you can see like a uh, content rich right and also internal links right external links as well so you know like make it look legit right like you can definitely improve upon the content all right and make sure you know follow this uh, amazon link right so here i would be you know improve the content and no follow the affiliate link right affiliate links definitely you know you, you should uh do this right? it's very important here and uh also if i go back and check the blog article right you see that most mostly all of them are you know like a review type like 27 best copper kitchen right 23 best kitchen counter i'm not saying that you know by writing just about you know these type of content are bad right because obviously you know you want to make money from it but you would also try to you know add a couple of informative content as well right which doesn't focus on selling anything all right let's say your website is about kitchen uh kitchen accessories right so maybe you can add like another article which you know just gives information right like nothing really sells in the articles so the the good point here with those type of articles is you know you will 
naturally get links for it from for it right so that will help in the link building right in the long term of the website so uh shouldn't just focus on you know creating like a uh, selling type article like this right uh, you, you should also add a couple of informative content as well um maybe this website has done it i'm not sure but it's just the way you know any um yeah like this one how much weight can a roof box hold right it should be like an informative type of content as well and uh although this is linking out to amazon content right um you shouldn't just you know focusing on you know, writing this type of content like uh the percentage should be something like you know um let's say 80 percent you know buying type content and 20 percent you know informative type content right something like this like just a 20 percent of them so that you can you know get backlinks naturally like, or whenever you do outreach or you want to build a link to your website people will be more likely to link to this type of article right more than the buying type content right and uh, i think that's pretty much it right when it comes to the on page site right there like basically you have to you have to basically you know improve the quality right the the quality the quality of the content and add no follow to it right and i'm pretty sure you know you're using some type of seo plugins there which will help you you know optimize your content for that that's fine uh, not a big deal right but you can obviously you know work on the quality side of the content right or the overall website as well and uh, have a proper pages about that about your your important pages on your website right and lastly the off page seo um the off page seo section so it doesn't seem like you know the website has any social media account which i really encourage you to you know open like facebook page for it twitter account for it right and uh, what whenever you publish new content make sure you know you share it on your show, social media right just make it looks real and legit right you wouldn't you wouldn't just want to have website and just leave it like that because google also uses social media to act uh to to check whether your website is real or not right it's a real business or not because at the end of the day you know google all, only likes ranking real legit business website right not just affiliate website so make it real make it legit right and uh backlinks i think there's like zero backlinks pointing to this website let me check that first um like is you don't really have to focus much on the backlinks right now because it won't probably help you with anything right so i would you know make sure that you focus on on page first focus on improving the quality of your website first and that should really help right and obviously you know social media so i think the last thing here which i recommend suggestion here is to you know create a social media you know account right and link to it right like just you know have a social shares on your website right like uh, maybe you know at the footer at the bottom section you know you have a link to your social media something like that like just to make sure you know you you connect with your social media account right well let me just quickly look at the backlinks profile and uh, just have a look here okay so zero backlinks that's not a big deal right now so obviously moving forward you know for the long term like in order to improve ranking you have to focus on building backlinks but at the moment you know these seven suggestions are probably what i would really focus on first before you start building backlinks right uh publish more content right like as you can see like uh, not too many contents are there and uh, that's that's pretty much it uh if you have any more questions uh make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below right and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible and if you want me to make any audit SEO audit for your website like this, make sure you comment them down in the comment section down below or message me, right? Whether it's uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. And that's all for it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.